and welcome to Conspiracy Boulder. You're not a boulder, you're a rock! Welcome to Conspiracy Boulder News. No strangers to conspiracies, today we tackle the Confederate flag issue. At first we just watched the drama unfold, figuring it would pass. Then we saw complete lunacy unfold as statues were moved, historic sites desecrated, and plans to dig up graves were reported. Well. We can no longer sit by idly as the Jurassic, has been, over the hill, agenda-driven, monopoly-owned, useless, old-fashioned media hides the truth in plain sight. Sit back. Buckle in. Here it goes. If we are to believe and agree that the Confederate flag is a racist symbol of hate because it flew over a part of our country that had more slaves than the other part, then let's first get the facts straight. And then let's do some more flag banning and history crushing along those exact same parameters. First. Way before Europeans first stepped foot on America, many, if not most Native American Indian tribes had been practicing some sort of slavery for a long, long time. Therefore. In line with the ban on Confederate flag and related product sales, we call for the immediate ban of all American Indian products and symbols including tomahawks, arrows, headdresses, children's toys, Halloween costumes, and totem poles. We must scour all of our national parks and monuments and remove any American Indian references. Of course, we must also seize all American Indian casinos. Fair is fair. Next. The slave traders that brought slaves to the Americas bought them with goods, like spices and rum, from African slave traders. That's right. They bought the slaves. The absurd visions painted by Hollywood that a handful of Europeans armed with swords and muskets would run through the African bush and round up boatfuls of slaves is bunk. Africans in Africa have practiced slavery for thousands of years. Recently, the king of the West African country of Benin apologized for his country's role in selling slaves. In fact, today, in 2015, slavery still exists in Africa. In Sudan. In Mauritania. Hundreds of thousands of people. Still enslaved. Look it up. Wikipedia is a good place to start. So Africans, who practiced slavery, sold or traded their own people to the slave traders for a profit. Without the African slave traders, not one African would have been enslaved in America. Therefore, we must immediately ban any and all African flags since they have been practicing slavery in Africa for thousands of years. Next. Of the many millions of slaves purchased in Africa by the slave traders, less than 7% went to North America. Most were shipped to South America, and over one-third went to Brazil. And compared to North American slaves, these slaves in South America suffered a much higher death rate. Horrible. Therefore, we must ban the sale and display of South American flags and symbols. We must especially ban the Brazilian flag. Next. Since ancient times, slavery has existed in India. To this day. There are an estimated several million bonded laborers working as slaves. Therefore, we must ban the Indian flag. Next. China has seen slavery weave in and out of its culture since ancient times. They outlawed slavery in 1910 but illegal trafficking in humans still exists. Therefore, we must ban the Chinese flag. Next. Slavery was practiced in various forms in Japan. Korea, and Southeast Asia. To this day, hundreds of thousands of women and children are still kept as slaves in Southeast Asia. Therefore, we must ban Japanese, Korean, and Southeast Asian flags. Especially Southeast Asian flags since they are still at it. Next. Slavery in Russia was officially abolished in 1723, but it was there. Therefore, we must ban the Russian flag. We should include the Soviet flag as well. Next. Since slaves existed in ancient Greece and Rome, they have to go to. Therefore. We must ban the Greek flag and the Italian flag. Next. Celtic tribes practiced versions of slavery. Therefore. 
we must burn the Irish flag. Next. In Leviticus, the Old Testament says, quote, However, you may purchase male or female slaves from among the foreigners who live among you. You may also purchase the children of such resident foreigners, including those who have been born in your land. You may treat them as your property, passing them on to your children as a permanent inheritance. You may treat your slaves like this, but the people of Israel, your relatives, must never be treated this way. End quote. Therefore, we must ban all references to the Israelites, the Bible, and any related flags and symbols. Next. The British played a large role in the Atlantic slave trade in the early years. Therefore, we must ban the British flag. Next. The Scandinavians practiced slavery in ancient times. Therefore, we must ban the flags of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and Finland. Next. The French had slavery till it was abolished during the French Revolution. Therefore, we must ban the French flag. Next. Portugal and Spain profited greatly from the slave trade. Therefore, we must ban the flags of Portugal and Spain. Next. Versions of slavery were practiced on Hawaii. Therefore, we must ban the Hawaiian flag. Well, at the conclusion of our investigation, Conspiracy Bolder News couldn't find any evidence of areas without some version of slavery. Worse, we found many examples of ongoing slavery, mostly in Africa and Asia. Sickening. Horrible. It makes the commotion surrounding the Confederate flag seem to be orchestrated at best. Then, when we checked the historical archives, we discovered that according to Abraham Lincoln, General Ulysses S. Grant, and General Robert E. Lee, the Civil War was not about slavery. Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation only freed slaves in southern states. How does that make the Civil War about slavery? Lincoln and the U.S. Congress offered to pass a constitutional amendment allowing the South to keep its slaves if the South agreed to rejoin the Union. How does that make the Civil War about slavery? Think about it. The Confederacy also offered to free all their slaves in exchange for the Union Army withdrawing from the South. If the Civil War was really about slavery, Lincoln and the Congress would have jumped on that offer. But they didn't. Think about it. People. You've been misled. General Grant said that if he. Quote. Thought this war was to abolish slavery, I would resign my commission, and offer my sword to the other side. End quote. The truth is that while General Lee had freed his slaves decades before the Civil War, General Grant still owned slaves, as did Lincoln's father-in-law. You heard that right. Grant and Lincoln's father-in-law were slave owners during the Civil War. They didn't free their slaves until they had to, after the end of the war. You heard that right. Think about it. So. How could the war have truly been about slavery when northern states still had slaves until the end of the war? To somehow try and make the Confederate flag into a symbol of anything other than secession, and rebellion, is disingenuous and fraudulent. It was the symbol of rebelling against, what many felt, was the federal government overstepping its authority. It was the symbol of states' rights. It was the symbol of honor and pride. And with less than 5% of Southerners owning slaves in 1860, and with about 20% of free Africans owning slaves in 1860, to say that the Confederate flag symbolizes hate and oppression is simply a media fabrication. Don't get your history from the movies. Don't get your history from the news. Check the facts, people. Not the sound bites. The facts are hiding in plain sight right in front of you. Oh. And unless you are the largest bold-faced hypocrite, if you want to ban the Confederate flag, you must also ban all the other flags we covered. And a whole lot more. Because each and every one flew over slavery. If you choose to only ban one flag, and not all the others, you will probably earn the label of being just another history denier. An opportunist. A selective oppressor. 
a fraud, a phony. And while endless coverage, and protests, and debates, and tensions, rock this country over a piece of cloth, the real issues that need your attention, like freedom of speech, Jade Helm, the forced inoculation and drugging of our children, the blurring of roles between the police and the military, the decay of our school system, the endless wars, the massive debt, and the hijacking of our financial system. We'll all slip away. Unnoticed. Until it is too late. Wait. Maybe that's the plan. Think about it. Conspiracy Bolder News will return after this break. <laughs>